Alright, what's up guys, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use Twixter in Sony Vegas. Um, a lot of people uh, have been having trouble with Twixter because it was only a, an After Effects plugin. Uh, well, mainly After Effects plugin. And a lot of people didn't have After Effects and or didn't know how to use it um, or just had troubles with it. Um, so today I'm going to be showing you how to use Twixter. I'm not going to be showing you how to get it. I'll have a link in the description on how to get it. Um, but yeah, it only works for Vegas 10, by the way, and it'll work for 64 or 32-bit computers. So yeah, what you're going to want to do is have your clip open in Sony Vegas. And I just have a screw-around clip of me in a private match shooting my friend. So what you're going to want to do first is come to your, get, go to your, the part in the clip to where, as to where you want to twixter it. And mine will be right when I shoot. And so I'll go ahead and you're going to go ahead and split it there and then go to where you want to stop the Twixer. And I'll go to like right here. And after that, you're going to want to ungroup the audio from the video. Um, and this is because Twixer does not slow down the audio, but there is a way to slow it down in Vegas, which will make it sound pretty good. So you're going to go ahead and click on the clip, make sure it's highlighted and hit U and that'll... Um, ungroup the audio from the video this will still be grouped and everything but yeah then after what after that what you're gonna want to do is come over here to your video effects tab or your video effects tab here and scroll down to Twixter Pro and add it to the clip where you want it um, Twixter and after this you go to set the speed to whatever you want um, a lot of people go really 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 low and there's a problem with that if you want sound if you want to slow down your sound, um, Vegas can only slow down sound to about 30% of what it originally is. So if you go to 30%, you can slow to, you can slow down the sound with it. So if you just go ahead and type in 30, um, what you'll see here is if I can, I'm gonna have to put this on a low preview uh, because Twixter actually makes it lag a lot. Um, but if you go here, you'll see it's Twixtered, but then it just cuts off. Um, and that is because it is now 30% of what it used to be. So all you got to do is go ahead and drag this out, and you're gonna go ahead. You're gonna actually have to match up the frames to where it uh, starts over here. So you'll drag this over and just check as to where it starts. So it starts snipers. The intervention's a little bit more down. So we'll go to about right here. I'd say it was about right here. Split this and cut it off. Then if we put it back to here and we play it through. Uh, it looks pretty much pretty decent. Um, I guess we can make this a little bit longer. And then if we go scroll through again, it looks pretty much uh, it looks exact now. So um, after that, you're just going to go ahead and control click and drag the audio out. And then right click on the audio, go to properties and click lock to stretch. And now if you render this out, you will have um, very nice looking slow-mo and some pretty nice sounding audio so yeah guys that's pretty much it um i'll have the twixter output of this at the end of the video um and so that you guys can check it out so thanks for watching guys very simple tutorial um and i hope this helped you guys peace good job team get ready for the next round